Hello everyone. In today's video we are going to talk about how to build a website in minutes with ChatGPT. Myself Mohammad Zubair and this channel is all about showing you how to become a highly paid IT pro really fast. So without any further ado, let's get started. Well, as we know that ChatGPT is an AI engine that helps you in a conversational way. So in this video, we'll see if we can create a website with the help of this particular engine. In one of our other videos, we saw that if we can build an app with the help of ChatGPT and we try to build two apps. In this video, we'll talk about the websites. So in terms of websites, we can have two perspectives. First one is we want to have complete design, interface, UI, in terms of the website that I want from the chat GPT or in other perspective, we can say that we have our design layout and all the necessary things, but we only want to have content from chat GPT. So we'll talk about both of the perspective and I'll talk about and show you example for both of those perspective. So first of all, let's talk about how we can have the code for a website from the scratch. So for the example, I'll use a simplest one of them all and I'm talking about a calculator. So I'll ask my chat GPT to provide me with the code for a simple calculator website in HTML, CSS and JavaScript file. So let's see what do we get and let's see if it works or not. So I'll ask my chat GPT to please write the code for calculator website in HTML, CSS and JavaScript. And I want to have separate code for each type of file. So I'll write here separately and I'll just hit enter. Okay, there is one more good thing and that is even if you write wrong spelling of any word, it will take the right input and it will give you the most appropriate answer. So here it has started the process. So first of all, it will start with the HTML code and then it will move towards the CSS and JavaScript or it can change it as well. So let's wait what do we get as result and then we'll see how does it work. And now I'll show you that which IDE I'm going to use. So I'm going to use my Visual Studio code in which I have all the files as index.html. For JavaScript, I have script.js and for my CSS, I have style.css. And the code that we'll get will be linked with each other on its own and we do not have to worry about anything. So now I'll just copy the code from my chat GPT for my HTML and then I'll just put it here. We are done here with the HTML code and down here it has started to work on CSS. So I'll simply paste the code in here and let's save this one and let's see how does it look like. I'll click on run and I'll click on run without debugging. Well at the moment this is how it looks like. Do not worry, we'll change it and we'll have more sophisticated design when we'll add our CSS. So I think we are done with the CSS as well so I'll just copy that one. I'll paste it in here, I'll save this and now let's see how does it look like. Well here you can see now we have more sophisticated design onto our website. At the end we are left with JavaScript and let's see if we are done with the JavaScript code or not. Okay, it has left the JavaScript code in between. So what I'll do, I'll ask my chat GPT to complete this code. Okay, as I have told you earlier that it talked to us or it worked with us in a conversational way. So now I only need to tell it that please correct the code for JavaScript. It will know on its own that of which JavaScript code I'm talking about. So I'll simply write here, please complete the above JavaScript code and you will see it will start working on this code. I'll hit enter and here it says certainly here is a complete JavaScript code for the calculator. So it's know that we are talking about the calculator JavaScript code and it has started to work on it from the beginning. So we'll wait for it and again I'll just simply copy that one and I'll put that into my JavaScript or you can say script.js file. We are done here with the JavaScript code and I'll just copy that one. So I have pasted it in here and let's save this one and let's head to our browser and let's see if it works or not. Here I have my calculator app and let's try to perform an operation. I'll write here 12 minus 6 and we have 6 as an answer. I'll add 8 into that and I'll press equal to sign and we have 14 and let's minus something from here and we have 11. So it means it is working pretty fine and there are certain things that we can perform and that is we can change the layout, we can have different input, we can have different input fields, we can have different designs for each button, we can have border for each button as well. 
it's all up to you that up to how much configuration or customization you want to go but basically this was the first perspective i was talking about in which i want to have all the code logic all the design logic and all the interface from the chat gpt but now let's close this one and let's talk about the other perspective and that is i want to have content from my chat gpt so for that purpose i'll simply ask my chat gpt please provide me the tagline title and description for fitness website hit enter and let's see what kind of content do we get so here it is giving us the tagline title and the description and not only that it will give you one more or you can say multiple suggestions that you can go with for example we are done with the first one like this after that it will start or you can ask it to have another one so i'll ask another one so i'll write here please provide me with another result i'll simply hit enter and here it says sure here is another suggestion so here we have tagline as get fit stay healthy and achieve your goals with us down here it says transform your body and mind with our fitness program this is tagline and this is the title which says fit life training and here it says fitness solutions and here we have the descriptions now for the design or you can say to use this particular content i am going to use already available engine which is free and i am talking about editor x you can go there you can have your account in here and then you are good to go basically we have different templates that are already available and designs we can use them or you can have your own one by going with the blank one if you scroll down you will see different categories in here you might also see the fitness one well yes we do have fitness one available which is right here but i want to go with a custom one so i'll just scroll up and i'll go with the blank so i'll click on edit it will open a new page for us and we can simply edit this template so let it load and then we'll add different elements different pictures and our content from our chat gpt in terms of the content i like this one so i'll use this particular content for my website here it is and this is how it looks like at the moment we do not have anything so simply i'll click on add element go to your composition and from here you can add anything to have as your home page or as your first thing that you will see onto your website here we have different templates that we can use and that are already available on the website so select the one as per your liking i'll go with this one because it does look like something that is really simple so i'll just select this one and here i just need to add things that i had earlier here i'll put my tagline so i will simply copy this one from here and i'll paste it in here click on edit text and just paste it from here you can change the size for your text as well so just select your text and from here increase or decrease the size as per your liking i'll decrease it because i want it to have a certain space i'll go with a 35 size down here we have description we can change it as well click on edit text i'll copy the description from here after that i'll simply paste it in here okay again we have a bigger description so what we can do we can decrease the size simply okay first of all we need to select this one and now we are ready to change its size now let's close this toolbar and let's see how does it look like well this is how it looks like and in case if you want to reduce it you can do so as well so i'll go back i'll ask my chat gpt please reduce the tagline words and hit enter let's see what do we get and here we have a different tagline so this is a smaller one so i'll simply copy this one and i'll use that onto my website so i'll click on this text i'll click on edit text and i'll simply paste it in here now it more look like a sophisticated one let's close this one and let's see how does it look like well now it looks more promising here we have an image let's change it so i'll click on change image from here you can search for anything i'll write here fitness and let's see what do we get so here we have different images that we can go with so i'll select the one that is appropriate to the theme of my website i think this one will look better i'll click on update and here how it's look like let's change the background i'll click on it and click on change image and again i'll look for fitness now let's look for something that looks better as the background either you can go with this one 
you can go with this one and we have many more options i think this one will look better so i'll just click on it and i'll click on update and this is how it looks like now well now we can see it is much better and now let's check how our website will look like on different screen so i'll just squeeze this one and this is how it will respond to us scroll down here we have our images here we have our tagline our description and here we have a button you can change this button as well but for the moment i'll leave it as it is let's resize it again and at the top here we have our logo we can change it as well so the title that we had from our chat gpt we can use that one in here if you scroll down here we have nothing so what i'll do here i'll simply add one more element in here so i'll click on add an element and in terms of element i'll add my services so i'll click on services and here we have different templates that we can have in terms of the services so you can go with any number of services as you like so let's say i have three services available onto my website so for that this is the appropriate one i'll simply select this one and it has been added in here let's go back to our chat gpt and i'll ask my chat gpt please give three services with title description for each and hit enter so let's see what do we get i'm sure that will get the services with respect to our fitness website but let's wait and let's see what kind of services do we get so obviously for that purpose we'll have a title in here and i'll put the description in here and here we have to change the images so as this gets completed i'll change the images from my website these are the images i'll click on change image and let's add some random one for the first one i'll go with this one for the second one i'll choose another one scroll down i look for something that looks different i think this is the good one i'll just select this one click on update and i'll do the same for the third one as well click on change image and i'll scroll down again and this time i'll go for this one we are done with the images and now we are left with the title and their description in terms of the services as this is the services section so here we have three services first one is personal training i'll simply copy this one okay make sure to paste it somewhere else first and then copy it because from here it will take it with the bullet so i'll just simply paste it in here and then i'll copy it i'll paste it in here i'll add it a text i'll paste it and now it's time for description i'll simply copy this one i'll paste it in here and again i'll copy it and let's paste it in here we are good to go with this one let's do the same for the second one here we have group fitness classes i'll just copy it i'll just paste it i'll again copy it i'll simply paste it in here let's go for its description i'll copy that one i'll paste it in here i'll again copy this one i'll simply paste it in here i'll do the same for the third one and then i'll get back to you so let me just do that we are done here with our services and we have all three services along with the description in here okay we also know that we have more than one page in any website at the moment we only have one so let's add some more pages for that purpose here we have pages i'll just click on it but what are different pages let's ask chat gpt i'll simply write please give me the outline for this website and hit enter let's see what do we get as result we have home page then we have about us page in which we'll define that what we are what do we do and what are different things that we perform then we have our services page we already have services on to our home page but we can have separate page with more details and pricing then we have our workouts it means what kind of workouts we do we offer to our customers and we prefer for our customers then we can have our nutrition then we can have a section for our blogs in which we can have different blogs articles related to health and fitnesses and at the end obviously we must have contact us page so let's add different pages onto our website so simply i'll go with different one first of all let's have a separate page for our services i'll write here services hit enter let's add another page this time i'll write here blogs hit enter and let's add one more and i'll put contact us this time hit enter we are done with all the pages and at the top we have information about all the pages i'll click on home and this is the home page but at the moment we are not been able to see any page that we have added in here on to our top bar so how can we do that just click on it click on manage menu i'll click on in add new items and here we have all the pages i'll click on side pages 
here we have services logs contact us apply and here we have our pages let's cross this one and at the moment as we are on to our home page this one has a different color and if you go on to your services page it will have different color now and home is back to black so now you can design your services page then you can go for your blog page then you can go for your contact us let's go back to our home page and let's see how does it look like let me change its size this is how it will look like on the mobile screen so here we have our services that we offer and i think we are good to go at the end you just need to click on publish and you can have your domain name click on save and continue and you are good to go so basically the thing that i wanted to show you in this video that how you can use your chat gpt with two different perspective in the first example we saw that how we can have a complete code for a calculator website or for any website and in the second example we saw that how we can get the content from the chat gpt and we can use that into our website in which we already have our design our layout our user interface images and other things so i hope now that now you have an idea that how you can use chat gpt service for your websites and i hope now that you must have liked and loved watching this video if that is the case please leave a like subscribe and press the bell icon and i'll get back to you as soon as possible and if you have anything to ask or if you want to suggest something please leave a comment below i'll get back to you till the next video take care